Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back. This is Starfield. We are on Mars. This is a mining colony and I do hope for hell that that is the main city. I was not able to land there in the last episode because I have contraband and I have a brand new ship which despite its price was not strong enough to stand up to the system authorities. I don't need to remodel this because, you know, currently if I want to get out of the ship I need to go from the beginning of the ship through all the stuff that I have, the workbenches and everything, and get to the end of the ship and that's what holds the uh, landing pad for me somewhere at the end of it. There are a lot of good things in it, but I do need to do some remodeling to make it a bit more efficient and make it look like uh, something that I would like to drive. I mainly wanted to give it a bit more like a winged look, like wings at the ba back of it, because I do like that supersonic jet look. But you know, for that I would probably need to spend some time off camera to get to a ship dealer. For this episode, what I plan to do is, oh look at that, structure, a cave, I don't see anything there, structure, Sidonia, yes, yes please, that's where we want to go, that's the capital of Mars, I cannot go there with my ship because it has contraband, but I can, Marsh lunch pad, nice. I can actually get a little bit, you know, manually get there. My only problem is that now I'm carrying all the stuff and I'm still majorly overloaded with over two metric tons of crap that I was carrying. So my maximum speed is a little bit lower than expected and as soon as I'm jump, oh jeez, look at that, I do love that marsh landing pad. What I wanted to do is, hold on, let me zoom in on it a little bit. Wow, look at that. I wonder what they were launching from there. It must be interesting to see. <laughs> Right, so I can't really move fast. I, I probably wanted to say something else, but I'm perfectly okay with not finishing my sentences. Anyway, this video series are just me rumbling around while walking from place to place. Most of the things... Oh wow, look at that! I couldn't even jump one before my O2 was going down the toilet. So I think we will walk everywhere. And then you can enjoy my silky voice for 40-50 minutes or an hour, depending on how things will happen. I'm very curious about it. In this current day and age, where I'm living, maybe this YouTube video will be watched in the far, far future. Humanity is... Next frontier, after the moon, obviously, is Mars. There are some smaller craft there that are doing their detection and, and finding the rocks. Trying to, you know, make sure that we properly investigate the planet. Maybe in the future, if you are watching this, you might be watching it on Mars. In that case, damn, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I'm already envy, and I probably died like 200 years ago at that time. But yeah, this is my version of exploring Mars. The things that are available to me at the moment. I don't have any 
other means to just hop on and, and visit the red planet whenever I want to yet. My spaceship, well, that would be nice if it would be, you know, real life thingy, but it is not, so I am stuck on the blue planet amongst all the ecological catastrophes. I think the end is like the notorious part of it. Interesting. I actually see in a very blurry picture of something here that I wanted to check out. And that is basically the reason why I was coming this way. There's nobody here. Just a cargo container and cheese Louis, what a dark place. What do you think, Marika? What I wanted to check is that I think somewhere here there is an engine which is from SpaceX spacecraft which are currently you know aiming towards Mars Oh yeah that's a spaceship leaving the planet Trying to see if there's anything here that I can steal, but this is probably similar to the Apollo lunch pod thingy. That you know, it's not populated, it is just for you know, a landmark for you to visit. There isn't anything here that you could, let's say, steal. The giant crane, though, looks intimidating as hell. NASA. Oh, no running, otherwise we die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a way to go up to the top of this, but look at how cool that looks. I am never getting enough of this. This is so nice. Look at that. Just a giant of obviously they were using the fog effects to the maximum some people are quite allergic to it i personally am not i don't mind if something is having ground fog and height fog and all the fog nice these pipes are for cooling i think Wow, that looks like a mighty spacecraft. So yeah, you might be seeing something similar if you already live on Mars with these vertically starting rockets. <laughs> oh, and these giant piles here are for catching the flames. Wait, I can actually go a bit higher up on this one. Not much, just a little bit. I already see some rooms there. And this is a very creaky contraption. What? Warning about what? A level clearance required. I am A okay. Let's hope that's okay. That's the clearance you guys needed. Only to know that I am a-okay. Oh wow, Mars gangs have been already ravaged this one. Not a particularly nice sight to see. Oh look, our first loot in the location. We'll move faster if we're not so weighed down. Well, that's the plan, but for that we need to get into the city. And right now we are doing the 
exploration part notebook I have vacuum tape but I don't have adhesive tape I want to see what's the different ease between those Industrialized Marsh uh, uh, Probably you should have made it habitable first Not gonna lie, that's a bit of a bummer Taking some notes And some ammo Nice Heavy particle fuse uh, That's not something I can actually utilize eh, That's alright, I survive without that much trash Let me try getting out and getting a bit higher to it I have not yet seen those Raptor engines and I'm a little bit interested in taking at least a peek If I can figure out how to, those look like the places that I, you know, I would need to aim for. Oh, look at that, I'm dying. And I will probably do that quite a lot. Not gonna lie, because every time I'm Running faster than the grandma speed. I'm actually losing health. So I, I couldn't really do that. So this will be a very boring episode where I am just inching around here. That was the first place we went. Oh, I hear a spaceship landing. Oh, there it goes. I really like, you know, in we have seen the animated series for, you know, Starfield, and there were always people looking up the sky, seeing the spaceships run and go, and I think they managed to capture that aspect very well. Because, you know, in a game about space exploration, you obviously want to see all the fancy things. At this day and age, people are very fascinated by, you know, spaceship launches and landings. And for a good reason. Those are actually the fancy parts that many people can see, but not many people can participate in. Like this. This is falling apart and I have yet to see that engine that I was looking for. I'm pretty sure it's, it should be somewhere here. Where else could it be? <laughs> That's an easter egg I think or at least that it should be an easter egg. Let me see if there's something there. Huh. I don't actually see a way up. There are a couple of items here. But I will probably need to come back here when I can actually fly a bit higher. Normally I would be able to go up there, I guess, more or less. Or find a way to jetpack, but at the moment my jetpacking ability is severely limited. I'm pretty sure there's a way to go up there to the top. But I don't see any ladders. Let me know if it is something that I would miss.
Hmm. Too defensive, I could just shoot it out, isn't it? Oh, not, not you, Morika. Like those cables there. Or those. Or, look at that. Oh, that was not actually holding it back. Ah, oh, never mind then. I'm pretty sure one day we will have a jetpack strong enough to get up there. But today is not that day. Wow, these giant clamps, I absolutely love it. This looks good from every angle. And for most people of my age, they, they actually, this is the closest they can ever get to space. Alright. Since I can't really do much here without actually dying, I will need to come back here at a later date. For the moment, I'm just inching my way towards the main city and trying to find a reputable vendor. And I think that should be... Sidonia, yeah, that's the way. I never attempted to move with this much weight before. It actually makes sense that I cannot really jump around with it. I can probably do one jump and my O2 would immediately you know, get lost. Oh, this is gonna be a very long ride. This will probably take a few jumps even. 800 meters that away, that's good. Huh! Oh! Look at that one jump and I'm almost dying. Oh! Well, I took a hit for it, but that's fine. At least we are through that ridge. Mariko is almost make it. Made it, yeah. Alright, so that is the heart of the city. Where the marker is, I think. It looks impressive, but also very depressive at night. Look at that. I barely see any lights, but that was actually a problem with the other city as well that I have seen. The uh, mm, New Atlantis. At night they were not really using any lights to light it up, so... In the night sky it doesn't really look like a very impressive city. Oh yeah, something is coming. Lead. That's the landing pad, yeah, nice. Oh, that's another landing pad then. Well, I don't mind not landing at the city. At least I can get a good overview of it. Wow, so nice. Uh, just for the curious ones, I roughly remember that the current plan of interplanetary travel is that you speak to Soares Boden at the Trade Authority. 
Uh, I, I don't think that's where I... Is that where I need to go for the main quest? I was not planning to do the main quest. But I might be actually in the right place for it. So what I wanted to say is that the current plan for interplanetary travel is that they shoot up one ship with a full tank and then the tank stays up, they go down, they bring up another full tank and you know, and then they build something that you know don't need to carry, which is a heavier ship, but they don't need to carry the whole a lot of uh, you know fuel because the fuel will be up in space, and that that's actually you know make so that they can make a bigger spaceship, like a bigger part of a ship that can you know carry cargo and people and everything. And then there are there is a journey of several moons to get to Mars. And then, you know, land and everything. But they bring all the fuel they need here. That's actually a significantly, you know, longer journey than what people are uh, expected to do. We don't have the light folding whatever jump drives that, uh, you know, Starfield has. Maybe one day. Am I going the right way for the city? Oh yeah, that, that actually is supposed to be the city. It looks like a ruined stadium. I wonder if you can find the Curiosity Rover somewhere here. This looks more like a tank. It would be funny. Just by a random event, if you you know land on another part of Mars, you would be able to. Oh hi there, Sidonia. Location discovered. You are. And I way easier on the inside. Try spending all day in a spacesuit, and you'll know what I mean. I know. I was farting in this one all day long. Oh, I think Sidonia was built like down there in the underground. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, this won't be an easy trip, that's for sure. Nice, I do like that lit establishment. Huh. This will take a while. But you know, we will eventually figure it out. The good thing is... That gravity is on our side. So even if I jump out here, I would probably be able to land somewhere that I can work from. Or just use that. But where is the fun in that? One jump down. That's our miner. I think this building is here to draw my attention, so I, I really, really hope that it means that that's the main building I need to go to. I see people way down there. Hello, miner. Sometimes I feel like I deal with robots more than 
pretty sure I need to go down. But this is not the way down, I think. Oh yeah, that way is the spaceport, so I, that, that's always a good point to start, because they normally have things like shops near the spaceport. At least that's what hey, New Atlantis had. What? Did I... am I not wearing my helmet? I do. Oh, for a second I was really scared. Alright, let me walk my way up here and try to get roughly where that ship landed. There isn't really a way for me. So I need to get creative, yeah, that is the way. Yeah. Slowly but surely. And also I need to eat a health pack before I die. And figure out what is vibrating there. It looks like work lights. Oh yeah, that looks like a giant engine. I must say, the atmosphere of Mars is something else. Oh wow, look at that. Those are robots building ships, or at least repairing them. Oh no, I cannot walk that fast. Oh yeah, this is lovely. Look at them fixing up all the things in it. Can I take a peek? I wanted to check if I can... Oh yeah, look at that, I can't even look into the window of it. I have a feeling this is not a workable sheep, they're just trying to take it apart. Wow, so nice. These areas, and especially that lightning. I think they... Star Citizen, I mean... Starfield has a couple of things taken from Star Citizen in terms of, you know, lighting and aesthetics. Not much though, they have their own ID, but still. Alright, that's the proper shipyard, so that's where I need to go, I think, because where there's a shipyard, there's a ship right. Heat leech. Leech this mofo. Making ship slower. Alright. Before they shoot me out of the field here, although I don't see any contraband checking, I'm making a bit of a save. Oh, that looks like an interior that we can visit. First, let me get to that ship, just out of curiosity. It doesn't tell me much about it. Abandoned mines, nice. Let me see if I can get up on that ship, just out of curiosity. Oh wow, look at that, is that a gun? These look like two gigantic gun installations on this. 
Hello. I am here. Inaccessible free star responder. Meh. I'm not actually this see the ship right here. Maybe I'm missing something. I try scanning for it too. That was a structure. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that building there, which has some lightning. I might need to talk with somebody to figure out where things are. Because this was actually not covering what I was hoping to. You know, the fact of where there is a ship, there should be a ship, right? And we are getting close to the 30 minute mark and I have not found a single people I can sell items to. What? This is not a door? Am I missing something? Is it being opened by something else? Hmm. This might be a ship part that they are working on. Hard to tell. The only thing I can tell is that I can... Obviously can't find anybody to sell things to. But the marker should be there and I've seen another landing pod roughly in that direction. So I just want to check this one out because this looks like a shooting range. And when there's shooting range... Oh, look at this. Ah, since it's also not something that I can access. I must say I'm mildly disappointed so far. I expected a bit more commotion, to be, you know, perfectly frank. I thought there will be more than two people here that I can actually talk to. Maybe I need to go deeper. That's a weapon case with nothing in it. Weapon rack with nothing on it. And another weapon case, and another. All of them are empty. Bang. Alright, so let me try finding that other landing pad. And maybe along with it, somebody I can talk to. Hmm. I think I do need to go deeper. That ship looks interesting though. Oh, and it's flying away. Just a spectacle for us. Zoom. Very nice. If I wouldn't be dying at the moment, I would enjoy it even more. Every few minutes, a new ship will come. I'm interested to see if we will find something that we can actually board onto. Although I'm pretty sure I can't take over ships in the main city. Uh, what's there? Oh, there it is, a new ship comes. Ship service! Yes! Ship services technician. Nice.
Find me when it's done. We're on it. Oh yeah, we probably need to follow that dude. Because he said he will be at the bar. Mining colony of Sidonia. Oh, this, oh, this is looking much more like a... Yeah, yeah, I couldn't actually get to the city interior because I was freaking scammed. My ship needs some repairs. Does it though? Looks to no, me like you're actually, in pretty good shape. I don't even have my ship here. I like to even modify my ships, yeah, that I'm sure you can eventually will like. come handy. Rambler. I think this is the one that is currently landed on the landing pod. Interesting design. This is, I think, the variation of the stiletto that we had. For 50,000. I mean, if I would find a... A vendor to sell my illicit goods. I probably could afford it. Gladius, yeah, we could buy that at the shipyard too. Econo Hall. Oh yeah, look at that. This is actually a, a cargo hauler. Look at all the cargo space it has. Large freight containers. I don't know what those golden bits are. It has, oh, it has an extra engine. And a porthole at the back. Or at least I think this is a porthole. Wow. Oh. Although, what I can tell is that it, it doesn't have any access to the cargo port. I mean, the cargo, the freight containers. I kind of expected it to be having a an access and I can just throw shit there like I do with my other cargo container. I like this at the front. This looks like a a covered gun. So it's hard for people to shoot out my guns. Not like any of them would ever try. I mean why would Discovery Right, this is the frontier just as it is with its Trusters. And it cost 52,000, what the heck? It has better engines though. Achilles. This is actually similar to what we have. Uh, a little bit, not much. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's smaller than our ship, I think. But it has these vector thrusters here for landing. Our ship has like a bunch at the bottom. Like those ports in the middle, if you can see them. I think for us, those are landing thrusters. Huh, okay, okay. I'm getting there. Long sword, yay, this is ours. And it cost 86,000 here also. So I was not made a bad deal by, you know, taking it. Marathon. Wow. I do like though that the landing stuff is under the cockpit. But this bright yellow. Not really filling me with confidence. Especially with the exposed tanks. But look at that. Those panoptes, I think that's also the uh, cargo. And look at these shielded thrusters, or at least I think they are. Or are they? This does, oh, those, those are tanks also, what the hell? I don't know what these parts are on it. But it has better shields and engines. I think it compares it to my home ship, not... Uh, not to anything else. Uh, this might even be a better ship for hauling than mine. We will get there. We will get there. But yeah. I need to follow the dude. 
to the bar wherever that bar is I saw him going in here so that's what we will do too Please don't start with a, a scan. <laughs> I wouldn't like that at all. Just give me a vendor I can sell things to. And I'll be happy. Welcome to Sidonia, oh jeez Louis, everything is so worth. Humanity ship shipping stone to the star, stepping stone to the star. Oh. Sorry, I've seen so many shipping thingies that I'm, I'm seeing shipping everywhere. Hello! Please tell me you are not trying to scan me. Security people. This is where I will end up if any of you ever looks into my pantalons and discovers all the contraband boots. I do a quick save before I talking to him because you know, he might check my pockets. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. I don't. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real though, I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. I didn't need to go to Neon, I heard everything goes there, including contraband. As much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. I probably won't do. Hopefully not. Oh wow, look at they they're using the They're actually using my favorite guns here. Secure storage, well, I will probably not be able to steal from that. Hi dude. See see they are Vincent Moodard. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of oh. Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. I'm looking for vendors to unload illegal shit. <laughs> you seem like a military guy. What, what, what are the bills? Only actually? the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself and head of the program. Well, former, hmm. I should say. The program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought hmm. to keep Do you want to start it again? But the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. Red Devils, I was actually, you know, learning about these guys. When I landed on the first moon, there, there were the secret lab where the first pirate lord and the first quest would take us. And they were talking about the Red Devils, they were the guys who were using the well, implants or mind control devices on the crab creatures who were uh, actually the core of this Xeno, Xeno military force. And you know, the Red Devils and the Xeno crabs were fighting Any together. To yes. Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. They've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pulled that double duty bad. aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia security chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, 
Nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. Hmm, someone is missing. The glory days. All the goddamn time. <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a Red Devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again. But it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. Hmm. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. I probably could, though. Have yourself a good one. Hmm. All right. I don't technically see anything here. The commander. Oh, what's that commander? Oh, coffee bag. I'm looking around because then, you know, these people might have a security card that I can borrow and that might be able to put me in a, you know, through a few doors. Alright folks, I think I'm putting a hard stop here in this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And stay tuned to explore the inside of Sidonia in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.